Imagine blowing up a balloon. As it expands, every point on the surface moves away from every other point. Now what if I told you this is how the universe behaves too? Let's break it down. In the early 1900s, Einstein's general relativity shook the world. It predicted that space and time are not fixed. They can bend, stretch, and even expand. But Einstein had a problem. Back then, scientists, including Einstein, thought the universe was static, never changing. But his own equation suggested otherwise. To fix it, he added a fudge factor, the cosmological constant, basically a cosmic patch to keep the universe still. But in 1922, Russian physicist Alexander Fredman looked at Einstein's equation differently. Instead of forcing the universe to be static, he discovered something mind-blowing. The universe must be expanding. Think of the balloon again. If it's getting bigger now, what happens if you rewind time? The balloon shrinks smaller, smaller, until it's a single point. This is what Fredman's math showed. The universe had a beginning, a moment when everything started expanding from a single point. Then in 1929, astronomer Edwin Hubble confirmed it. He observed that distant galaxies were moving away from us, and the further they were, the faster they moved. This was exactly what Fredman's equation predicted. The universe is expanding. So what's next? Fredman developed three models for the universe's fate. One, the Big Crunch. It's like a ball thrown up that falls back down. Two, eternal expansion, like a rocket escaping gravity. Three, perfect balance, slowing down but never stopping. And here's the craziest part. His equations also suggested that in the past, the entire universe was compressed into a singularity, a tiny, infinitely dense point. Sounds familiar? That's the Big Bang Theory. But what happened to Einstein's cosmological constant? Was that really a mistake or something else? And if the universe is expanding, what's driving that expansion? For more, check out Atheism Delusion by Ahmed Al-Hassan.